the Facebook ban, what you won't see on the social network two weeks before Election Day. Okay, back to an announcement from Facebook that they released this morning regarding the presidential election now just two months away. Facebook is going to ban political ads a week before the election, trying to curb the spread of misinformation. So people are asking, well, why not? Just start it all right now. Let's send it over to Tia and dig a little bit deeper on this one. Tia. Well, Sally and Anthony, part of this too is to prevent voter suppression. And joining me now to talk more about Facebook's announcement is Dahlia Saper from Saper Law. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Let's get right into it. There are political ads on Facebook right now, but Facebook is saying the week leading to election day, no new ads. Attorney Saper, why is that? They're trying to do their part in mainstream to ensure that we are going to have an effective election process. The cycle, social media is used heavily by politicians and political action groups, and Facebook is under increasing scrutinies to make sure that they are playing an appropriate part in that process. But at the same time, Facebook has to be very careful to remain a platform and not someone or not an entity that's actually censoring the information that is on its site. That's a very good point. Now, we know two years ago, roughly 3,000 plus Russian bot ads were released showing how they could have swayed voters. Is this Facebook taking ownership of that? Well, they're going to be very careful with what they are saying. They're creating uh, portals and places for us to get accurate information. As soon as any of these social media platforms start editing the information or participating in um, co-authoring, so to speak, that information, they lose their liability immunity. So whatever they do, Facebook has to say, all right, we can put a little uh, banner on what is going on, tell you that this may not be accurate but they can't fully go in and edit or delete. Uh, they can wholesale delete. They can't go and edit what's in there without losing their own protection as a platform. And you mentioned accurate information. What is Facebook's legal responsibility regarding false information? They don't have any responsibility. All of these platforms are merely that. They're saying we're no different than a wall on the street. People can go take some chalk and write whatever they want. We can go and erase that wall, but we're not going to go in and cross out the, the bad words or anything else we don't like in there. Their position is that more information will counter lies and bad information. So we're going to edit to the extent we can, provide platform information to the extent we can, but if something is a lie, then it's up to other groups to point out that something may be false. Wow, very interesting. Thank you so much, Attorney Saper, for joining us. Thanks for having me. Sally? Thanks so much.